Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So as expected, we're heading towards that peak of the hurricane season, starting to get a little crowded, at least with areas that we're either tracking or areas that we have to be monitoring over the next several days, which could develop. You can see a couple of these areas, one working its way off the coast of Africa. We've got another one uh, that is continuing to work its way onto the west and the northwest off the coast of Africa. Then we have Danielle, Hurricane Danielle, and Earl, which is likely going to become a hurricane over the next couple of days. So first stop is Hurricane Danielle, currently located at 42 to 41-2. Uh, top winds are at 75 miles an hour. Now, this system has uh, maintained itself just simply because it's, it's found a way to stay over some warmer waters. Now, over the next couple of days, it is going to start to work its way over some cooler waters and that will start that weakening trend as we head towards the middle of the week and then just continues to work its way on towards the east eventually just kind of becoming more of a non tropical system making that transition into a non tropical low and losing a lot of that intensity. So here is a currently tropical storm Earl now for the time being, it's maintained itself. One of the big issues with this, and you can tell just by looking at the satellite imagery, you can see this is kind of a, almost a lopsided looking storm where you're seeing a lot of these cloud tops just kind of racing off to the north and the east. It's strong wind shear. This has been dealing with that strong wind shear, but despite that, it, it was able to increase that intensity up to 65 miles an hour and at least hold its own for now. Now, what's going to happen is as we go through the next couple of days, it's going to continue to work its way to the north. Eventually, it gets out of this zone where we had that very strong wind, that vertical wind shear, which has really been the, the inhibiting factor with this storm. Once that happens, this system is expected to strengthen and it can strengthen pretty quickly as well, working its way very close to Bermuda. The big issue will be how close does it come to Bermuda as we head through the middle of the week up to a possibly a major hurricane. And then once it works its way further to the north, it works its way into those cooler waters and that will begin that transition into more of a non tropical system and starting to lose that intensity as well. So here is with the Fox model. Really interesting view here to look at those winds surrounding the center. Now watch as we go through the next couple of days. Uh, watch it is moving very close to Bermuda. At this point expected to pass just to the east of Bermuda. The big question is how how close how far to the east of Bermuda because Bermuda is right in there. And so you're seeing some of these winds right around 90 miles an hour overall on that east and southeastern side around Bermuda right now. 50 60 mile an hour sustained wind certainly looks possible and then the system will continue to work its way on to the north and the northeast. So here's another view the European and the GFS just kind of get that idea of what these two different computer models are saying about this. And again, you have that same idea, but notice that the GFS, which is in red, keeps it a little bit further to the north and also a little bit further to the west. So there is Bermuda. So much closer to the island and then you have the European, which is a bit further to the south and east. So this is obviously going to be something that Bermuda watches very closely over the next couple of days. To see exactly how close this storm is going to come to them. Other than that, we just continue to watch those areas out in the far eastern Atlantic. and We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.